What's good, my beautiful family, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am currently using my phone to record my voice because I didn't bring a mic, so we're gonna be up close and personal today. But anyways, if you're new here, I am Liana. I am in London now, and I leave back home tomorrow, which I feel like I've been traveling so much. And although I'm grateful to be traveling, I feel like I can't catch a flow. I legit feel like I can't catch a flow. And to be honest, I have been feeling so lost in life for, it's probably been a good two months straight. Two months I've been feeling like lost. I haven't been feeling like myself. We literally did the whole tour and it was based around confident when I'm covered. If you haven't watched my last video, I will leave it right here. But basically I did a tour and it was confident being confident when covered. But deep down inside, I really haven't been that confident. And it's not because of the hijab. Those that are also new here, I just recently put on the headscarf. So it's like, it's not the headscarf. I think it's like feeling lost within myself and not knowing like where I'm going to be at in life. And I know I'm trusting God's plan. And if you don't believe in God, just trusting what's meant for you is meant for you. And I know we're supposed to trust in that, trust in whatever we believe. But it's like, sometimes you just feel lost. Sometimes you feel like things are not going the right way. Sometimes you feel like you hit a hard patch in life and you can't get yourself out of it. And you're like constantly living in the same state of mind where it's like this negativity and you're just like trying to get yourself out of it, but you just feel like it's the same rotation all the time. And if you are feeling lost in life right now, this video is for you. And it's, it's kind of for me too, because to be honest, I speak to myself when I do these videos also. And I wanted to do a video that's like less production because I feel like I haven't been able to just like speak to y'all like I used to and like speak to y'all one-on-one, -on -one, like we're just FaceTiming. So today I am just going to open up to y'all and speak about how I deal with feeling lost in life and what helps me get through it. Let's start with like feeling lonely. If you're feeling lonely, or maybe you don't feel lonely, maybe you're around family all the time or around your friends all the time. I think one thing that has made a huge impact on my life is surrounding myself with good people and people that are going to bring you out of a part of your life where you feel like you're falling down. You have someone to help pick you up. And so whenever you don't surround yourself with people that genuinely love you and that won't pick you up whenever you are falling down, you need to surround yourself with people that will. Maybe you're a person who doesn't even have the people around you. Then you have me. And I'm telling you that you need to pick yourself up and understand that you can't rely on people to get you out of where you are today. You are the only one who can solve your own problems. You are the only one who's going to get you out of bed if you feel like you've just been like, rotting away in bed or you're the only one that's going to push yourself to do the things that you have promised yourself that you need to do and it's okay to have a bad week it's okay to have a bad day but when you are constantly putting yourself down and not not picking yourself up we can't rely on others to pick us up we have to do it ourselves and i've been guilty of relying on people to hold me accountable for things and and push me to do things that i don't feel like doing and that has never helped me grow as a person i've always learned that you know what in order for me to truly get to where i want to be i have to pick myself up and you have to pick yourself up so that is one thing when you are feeling lost in life, make sure you are surrounding yourself with good people. And before I get off the topic of surrounding yourself with good people, really analyze who your friends are and see, are they people that bring you down? Are they people that fully support you? Do they get upset when you tell them that you want to focus more on you? So really be aware of who your friends are and who your circle truly is. And if you are not inspired by the people in your circle or the people in your circle are not inspired by you and y'all are not helping each other be the best versions of yourself, you have to reevaluate who your friends are and if you really truly see them being a part of your life forever. Now the next topic I want to get into is being aware that you can only control what you can control. Don't focus on the things that you can't control because all of us go through things where we can't control. But you have to focus on what you can control because if you start stressing about what you can't control, you're going to get so caught up in it to the point where it's going to drain you emotionally and drain you mentally to where you're not even going to focus on what you can control. You're not going to focus on the way that you can respond to the situation. You know, sometimes we have a bad situation 
situation in life, but your response is going to get you out of it. You can control the way that you feel. You can control the way that you react. You might not be able to control the situation that's happening to you, but you can control the way that you respond to it. And we're going to go through so many tests in life where you're going to have so many situations where you feel like you can't control and you feel like what is going on. You're going to feel like the world is falling apart or something. God forbid. But you're going to feel like the world is falling apart and you can't control it. But there's going to be points in life where you know you can control certain things. You know you can control still working towards your goal every day. You know you can control getting up and, and getting ready and feeling confident in yourself by putting on a nice outfit or just pushing yourself to do things that you're not comfortable doing and still being in control of yourself even when the situation around you might not be in your control. And when you can't control something, it also comes down to perfectionism. Like for me, let's keep it 100. I was always such a perfectionist on how I wanted my content to be. Always. My work had to be a certain way. The way that I filmed had to be a certain way. I had to have everything planned out a certain way. Even whenever like I put on the hijab, filming content completely changed for me, bro. It was like I was literally a new human being. Like I used to just film videos like waking up out of bed, like legit. I would set up the tripod right away, come out of bed, go in the shower and, and show and be so easy with it. And then I started overthinking everything when I put on the headscarf. I was like, I can't get up, get ready, put the hijab on, then pretend to get out of bed like I'm tired. Obviously, this is like freaking influencer stuff, but like just showing you that we overthink so many things in life. Like who cares? Who cares the way that I filmed the intro of my video? Like I literally would stress for like an hour of how I would film the intro for my video. Like what is wrong with me? I'm being a perfectionist and this is causing me to not put out the content that I want to put out. And that is literally taking me away from my goals, taking me away from growth that I should be going towards. Like we're a perfectionist on the littlest things. Like I remember back in the day, whenever I had my first apartment, I did not care about anything. I didn't care about anything. I didn't care the way that I filmed my content. I didn't care about the edit. I didn't care about the lighting. The lighting in my apartment was terrible. It was so bad, but I still put out the content. You can't care what people are thinking. And even for those that want to start creating content and you feel like you don't have the aesthetic, do not worry about the aesthetic. You can't constantly rely on like perfectionism to get in the way of your goals to whatever you're doing. So do not be a perfectionist all the time. Yes, put out quality stuff in life and yes, have quality work, but don't be a perfectionist to the point where it's going to push you away from getting to where you want to be because it's just going to push you further from your goals. Like it's literally going to hold you back. And then you're going to look past a year later and you're going to be like, what? did I do with my life? What did I do with my life because I, wa because I wanted to be a perfectionist and nothing was perfect? I'm literally sitting here in a hotel room talking to y'all from the bed. I used to just care so much about production and filming and the way the lighting looked and now I'm not even, now I'm filming from the freaking phone because I don't have the mic, but I usually would have been like, I can't film because I don't have the mic. Sorry if I'm yelling in your ear, but like, don't be a perfectionist all the time. It's okay to have a little bit of it because perfectionism can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. So you have to recognize yourself when you're being too much of a perfectionist. What's another topic that I want to cover on feeling lost in life that has like resonated with me? Okay, when we tend to focus on the end goal all the time. So we're constantly, so we have a dream, right? Or we have a goal, an end goal. And we're constantly thinking of it in the back of our minds. And sometimes social media can even play a huge effect in our life to the point where we're comparing ourselves and we're comparing our lives and we want to get to somewhere so bad to the point where we don't enjoy the process. We don't enjoy the journey. We're so focused on the end goal and getting to the result, which you can't always focus on the result because in order for you to get to the end result, you have to love your journey. You have to love the difficulties that you're going to go through. You're going to go through so many ups and downs to get to where you want to be. And if you're constantly looking at social media or people that have it already, you're going to get so discouraged and unmotivated because you're not going to love the journey that you're on because you're so focused on the end result. You can't keep focusing on the end result. You have to go through the hardships and then you will look back. And people will look up to you and be like, how did you get there? And you're going to be able to tell your story and be like, you know what? I went through this, this, and this to get to where I am. 
and understand that it's a, it's the journey that you have to fall in love with. You can't fall in love with the end result before falling in love with the journey because the journey is what's going to build you. It's what's going to make you. It's what's going to be able for you to share your story with other people of why you are where you are today. So fall in love with the journey. Feeling lost in life is a part of the journey. When you get out of this hard time that you're going through, you're gonna look back and be like, I felt so lost in life during this time, but I realized I had to pick myself up and get myself to where I needed to be. And that meant by staying disciplined, staying focused on the end goal, yes, but knowing that you have to be present in the moment and focused on the day in order to get to the end goal. Because if you're not present in the moment and present in the day of what you're doing and the stuff that you need to be working on as a person to get to that goal, then you're never going to get to that goal. So fall in love with the journey. Do not fall in love with the result. I know it's hard. It's not meant to be easy. Life is not meant to be easy. And I feel like we're constantly looking for happiness. And that's why we feel lost in life sometimes. Because when we go through times where we don't feel happy, it's like we feel stuck because we lose motivation. We lose hope. We go through a hardship and it, and it brings us down. And then we feel like there's no way of getting out of what we're going through. But I promise you there is... And I'm saying this because I have literally been feeling like this for the past months. And I felt so lost to the point where I was like, you know what, bro? Is this even for me? I questioned everything. And like, I know it's just selfish to say, but sometimes we can just not see all the blessings in something. We can literally not see all the blessings in everything because we're focused on the negative things in life. And you have to focus on the blessings, the simpler things in life. Even if that's as simple as like food on the table or a roof over your head if you can't see the positive in some things. And like, there's so many people that are struggling in life right now. Like homeless people. If you think about homeless people, it's like, how can I even be sitting here feeling ungrateful basically? Because there's so many more people that are going through worse. And you have to love your life. You have to love your life and, and find the blessing in the smaller things. And one thing I want to say that has probably been a negative thing in a lot of our lives is social media, is comparing our lives to other people. Because we live in a, we live in a generation now that social media is, is a huge part of all of our lives. I mean, I literally do social media for a living now. Like, <laughs> it's definitely a part of my life. But I, I'm saying like for other people that are consuming the content. I used to be a consumer. And if you are consuming content every single day, you really need to think about what is the content that you are consuming. Because if you are not consuming content that inspires you and that uplifts you and brings you to want to be a better person and to want to be a better you, then you should not be consuming that content. And really think about it. When you are scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on Instagram or scrolling through stories, are you wasting your time or are you gaining beneficial knowledge to help you be a better you? Even me doing social media, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real with y'all. I had to set limits on my social media time because I really developed a bad relationship with social media. It was to the point where like, I didn't even want to do social media anymore because of the impact that it was having to my mental health. And I'm the one putting out the content. But imagine someone going through a hard time and consuming content and comparing their lives to people. You can't compare your lives to people because I promise you, people that are showing, showing themselves on social media are only showing the perfect life. They're only showing the perfect sides. It's rare that you're going to find someone showing like the dirty laundry or the dirty clothes or the hard times of truly being in your bed and like sitting there crying every single day, like trying to get yourself out of bed. You're like, you're not going to see that as often. So you have to understand that social media isn't real life majority of it is not real life and please make sure you are consuming content that is actually having a positive impact to your life because it can be such a negative thing to the point where it will destroy your mental health coming from experience it will destroy your mental health so if that means you have to set time limits i literally have 45 minutes on my instagram and 15 minutes on my tiktok be real with yourself because the more time you spend comparing yourself to other people and looking at another person's life. Imagine you using that time and putting it into yourself. So if you spend 45 minutes a day watching someone else and not even feeling inspired, you just feel upset. Those 45 minutes could have gone into you. 45 minutes is valuable time. 
You have to think of your time as valuable, genuinely. Think as your time as precious and it will make you look at things completely different. Social media can be a positive thing or it can be a negative thing. So you have to be aware of what you are consuming and how much time you are consuming content. I'm going to say aware and a lot of this because I have that's probably one of my favorite words right now is being self-aware. Being self-aware when you're feeling down. Being self-aware when you are not holding yourself accountable. Being self-aware when you are telling yourself it's okay when it's probably not okay. Like we're constantly going to fight a voice in our head. I like to say we're going to fight demons. Like I'm constantly, I like to say I'm constantly fighting demons because we are constantly in a battle with ourselves sometimes because we can tell ourselves so it's okay, which sometimes it is okay, but then sometimes it's not okay. Now, I don't want to make this video too long because I could just sit here and waffle on and talk to you guys. I say waffle as in like waffle. I just like speak so much. I'm trying to be more concise with my words. It's something that I'm trying to get better at. Anyways, that literally has nothing to do with this. But I think another part of feeling lost in life could be not having habits. And whenever you start to build in more habits into your routine and you stay consistent with them, then over time you will get closer to your goal. So I want you to pick up a piece of paper and a pen. Write things that inspire you. Write about things that you are passionate about. Remind yourself of your purpose. And if you don't know what your purpose is, truly think about the things that you enjoy in life and what you feel like truly you can have an impact on. And write about what motivates you. What are you driven by? Are you driven by helping people? Are you driven by being creative? Are you driven by money? You have to think about these things. We're all driven by different things. And when you start to understand who you are as a person and what it is that you want in life, then you can start creating habits that align to you. For example, in the beginning of me feeling like the lowest point of my life, I started off by journaling and practicing gratitude and reminding myself of the things that I'm blessed with. And that is somewhere you can start and make it a promise that you're going to do it every single day and start with one. Don't put so much pressure on yourself to the point where you're like having like 10 habits or even five habits is a lot. If you start with five to 10 habits a day, you're not going to be able to stay consistent with it until you stay consistent with one. But slowly start to build them up and you will find the discipline whenever you start to stay consistent with your habits. And you will find yourself getting closer and closer to your goal because you're practicing discipline, you're practicing consistency. And whenever you are feeling low and you're feeling lost in life, you still have that habit to go back on, to pick you back up. So those habits could be journaling, it could be meditation, it could be prayer, it could be reading a self-help book. Find what works best for you, but know that whatever you are going through in your life right now is a part of your journey. It's a part of the plan. It's a part to test you, to be able to build you and to strengthen you. And you can get yourself out of this. You just have to be resilient, which means you can get yourself out of difficult times and you can recognize when you are going through a difficult time and really bring yourself out of those times. And that is going to build resilience. So this is the end of the YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it. To be honest, I enjoy just speaking to y'all like one-on-one -on -one and I miss talking to y'all. Just like literally no production. And I really want to be on YouTube and take it seriously. I have such a big platform on here and I love you guys so much. I don't know why I have just like been overthinking content and overthinking the smallest things and being a perfectionist. <laughs> but if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'll also leave my Instagram up here somewhere and I hope you guys feel better if you're feeling lost in life. And if you don't feel lost in life, thanks for watching this video and I hope you got some insight. But I will see y'all in the next video. Mwah.